Welcome back to my kitchen. On the menu for today, guys, is Hall Malls My Way, okay? I had a taste for some Hall Mall chitlins, something in that field. So I grabbed me some Hall Malls at the meat market, and I'm going to cook them, okay? So anyways, I ain't going to hold y'all, but y'all know my motto. Cook what you know your family will eat. Don't let anyone tell you what to do in your kitchen. Y'all, let's jump in these pots. Let's get it okay guys these are some of our ingredients i have garlic powder onion powder thyme leaves beef base broth seasoning black pepper adobo seasoning tonies i got my potatoes and my mixed vegetables onions and bell peppers and these are some of our ingredients you guys okay y'all we here go our hall malls now with the hall malls all you want to do is like look for fat fat or anything that look like it doesn't belong. Like this piece look pretty good. My butcher cut them up for me. But even though I'm gonna cut them again, but you know, he didn't keep them large like they come. So you basically just looking for any fat or like stuff like this. You don't want on there, you take it off. You don't wanna eat all that. Take all that off. You want to eat all that nastiness. And you just scrape it off. That's all you're doing. I mean, I ain't going to show y'all the whole process of me doing this. I just want to show you guys, you know, what you're looking for. I'm going to get all that off. It's a little time consuming, but baby, it's worth it. Yes, indeed, it's worth it. So I'm gonna sit these over here to the side. All the stuff I don't need, I'm gonna sit it over there. Everything I'm gonna use, I'm gonna sit it over here to the side. And that's all you're doing, guys. So let me go ahead and finish up. I just want to show you a little bit of what you're looking for. I'm gonna get all that off. Don't leave nothing behind. <laughs> wash them in vinegar and lemon juice cut them up and then we're going to get them in the pot this is all of the fat and gook that i got off please don't forget to clean your sink once you clean all of your meat it's very important to clean hall malls and chitlins thoroughly you already know where they come from and this is just my aftermath we got some lemon juice here and this is just how I do mine, guys. You don't have to clean it how you feel like you want to clean it. I have some vinegar. And you're just gonna wash everything down really, really well. And then we're gonna cut them up. You cut them in how big of pieces you would like them to be, y'all. Like about this size right here is good for me. 
but I am going to cut them up. I grab my scissors and I just cut them. You cut them how big or how little you will want them. It's up to you. I like about this size pieces. You know, it's just up to you guys. I'm not going to show y'all the whole of me cutting up the hog moths. I don't want to bore you guys, but you know, just cut them how you feel comfortable with. You could do it with the knives. I chose to do it with scissors. But however you feel comfortable with cutting them up, cut them up. That's all you're doing. Now you can cut these up before you cook them or after you cook them. I want to go ahead and cut them up before I cook them. I don't want to go through all that. Once they get in that pot, I need them to already be ready to go being cooked, put my flavors on them and all that kind of stuff. So that's all I'm doing. Okay, we got all of our hog moths cut up into a pot. What I'm about to do now is take a bowl of water and I'm going to let these boil for about 30 minutes. And then I'm gonna pour that water off of them and we'll start cooking our hog moths. I just do this step, you don't have to, but this is just what I do. So I'm gonna allow these to boil for about 30 minutes. Then I will pour all of that water. It'll probably have a little foam and stuff like that on it. I just like my hog moths and chitlins really clean. So that's just the step that I do. I mean, it works. And then when we come back after 30 minutes from them boiling, I will add all of our onions, bell peppers, all of our seasonings and everything like that. So I'm just gonna put a lid on it, you guys. And we're gonna let it go for 30 minutes. Okay, you guys, it's been going for about 30 minutes. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna pour off all of this water and then I'm going to put in my seasonings my onions and bell peppers, you know, and get the process to going. Okay, guys, I have drained the water. Now we're gonna go ahead and season our hog moths. This is some garlic powder. And you just season until your ancestors tell you to stop because you know what they say. If you ain't sneezing, it definitely ain't seasoned, okay? Anywho, we have some onion powder here. And I love me some flavor, honey. Yes, indeed I do. We have thyme leaves. One of my favorite herbs, you guys. We have our black pepper. Some people like to use white pepper. It's up to you. Totally up to you. We have our beef broth base. We have our adobo seasoning. We have Tony's. And we have a little red crushed pepper flakes. You don't want it too spicy. Now I'm going to add in our mixed bell peppers and onion, along with our liquid. And all I'm using is water. You can use beef broth if you want. Chicken broth is up to you but I'm just using some good old water. And we're gonna 
get everything mixed around together. I'm also gonna hit it with a little white vinegar. And that's just to tenderize our hog moths. I'm gonna put a lid on it and let it go and check on my liquid throughout the cooking process. Okay guys, we're gonna look at it and they looking really, really good y'all, really good. So at this point of my cooking time, cause they're almost finished, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes and some more seasoning you guys. I'm also gonna add in this gravy, brown gravy pack mixture, just to thicken up my gravy a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add in my potatoes. And I'm gonna add in some more seasoning. This time I'm gonna add in some salt. I did not add in any salt because you have to be careful with your salt intake, guys. But this time I am gonna add in some salt along with some more onion powder. Not too much. Some more garlic powder. Some more of my adobo. Some more black pepper. I love me some flavor, you guys. Some more of my thyme leaves. Just a little. A little bit more Tony's. Because remember, I just added in salt. I need a little bit more kick in it. I did taste it, you guys. It needs some more red crushed red pepper flakes. Just a little. And now I'm going to add in that browning. And we're gonna mix it all together, guys. We're gonna let our potatoes soften and our dish will be ready, guys. Gonna let it go for an additional 15 to 20 minutes and those potatoes should be good and softened. Okay, you guys, our potatoes should be soft and ready. Sorry for the steam. But anyways, let's check our potato. Yep, falling up. Oop, fell apart. They're ready, guys. Trying to get another one. It's ready. I'm going to go ahead and fix the plate and show you guys how it looks. Here is my plate, you guys. Thank you for watching me. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.